Maybank expects its non-performing loans or NPL ratio to increase slightly as the country's economic situation continues to worsen, pushing profits lower in this financial year ending June 30, 2009. Its CEO, Datuk Seri Abdul Wahid Omar, said this will cause profits to drop during second half 2009, also contributed by the writing down the value of recent acquisitions. Uh, plus the uh, impact from the acquisition, meaning that uh, the interest uh, on the 9.1 billion ringgit which we um, raised um, over the past um, 10 months, uh, that will uh, kick in um, to the full effect uh, in the second half of our financial year. Um, so, uh, obviously, again, with that, um, we do expect low performance. Uh, with that, um, also, you have the issue of impairment as well. Uh, so that's why we think that overall, um, the full results for 2009 will be lower compared to financial year 2008. Speaking to reporters after the bank's EGM, he said that the bank has set five years until 2013 for its investments in PT Bank International Indonesia or BII to start generating returns. Uh, the task for management uh, of BII, uh, whom we have put in place, will be to grow the earnings of BRI as fast as they can uh, so that we can actually uh, break even faster. Uh, now, uh, from a position of 2% return on investment, um, if you need to actually cross the 6% hurdle rate, if you like, um, you know, that will mean that you have to triple the profit of BRI uh, in order for us to break even. He added that the bank, which owns 97.5% of BII, must grow its average earning by 25% per annum in five years for BII to break even. The bank's shareholders today approve Maybank's plan to raise 6 billion ringgit in right offers to raise capital after its acquisitions last year. The 6 billion ringgit proposed right issues will be completed by the fourth quarter of its financial year ending June 30, 2009, increasing capital from 9.1 billion ringgit to 15.1 billion ringgit.